Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the show. Hey, I've been going for a little while here, and uh, now the sun has finally risen, and it was a beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning again. That was awesome. Yeah, we had parked at a uh, rest area overnight there just before uh, Sioux City. I forgot to mention that on yesterday's video. And so this morning we uh, just went right into Sioux City there and uh, fueled up the truck and got her going. Now we're already past Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Yeah, this morning we were still in Iowa. And now we are already in South Dakota. Yeah. Still not that many trees around, but at least, you know, the roads have cleared up. This is the stretch where we had really, really icy roads the other day on our first day out last week, Friday. It was really icy here in the evening when we came through here. We saw a bunch of four-wheelers and even a semi-truck in the ditch and whatever, so... Oh, looks like we got an oversized uh, truck ahead of us there. Yeah, we're into the uh, rolling hills up here a little bit, as you might be able to tell. I guess we're catching up quickly on this one, so we're gonna move over into the left lane. We're gonna go around this oversize and we'll see. We'll probably go up to Fargo, North Dakota and go in there into the Mexican restaurant and have us a good lunch today. We've been pretty much eating out of the truck pretty much all week long, except for the occasional time when we, you know, in, in Laredo and uh, when we went in there and just had this, some burritos there, Mexican burritos. Other than that, I think we only ate in that uh, casino. casino, yeah? That was it. Every other day we've been eating out of the truck. No, no, no it's all empty. Yeah, now the fridge is all empty. <laughs> Need to fill it up again. Yep, we'll have to do some uh, groceries shopping tomorrow. Fill up the truck again so we can continue eating it out of the truck, right? It's a lot cheaper than eating in the restaurants although today I mean we you know we're gonna do it because we love Mexican food too so why not eat at another uh, Mexican restaurant the wife won't have that chance to do that in a good while again because it's not that easy to leave our daughter and, and be able to take the wife along especially when it's school then the son has to go to school and all that right so it's a very, very rare occasion that I can, you know, get her to come on a trip with me, so... Finish it off with a good meal. <laughs> yeah, finish it off with a good meal and go to Winnipeg, drop this trailer and we'll see if they'll give us another load going home from there or if we're just going to bobtail, but either way we're going to go home from there, that's for sure. And uh, luckily it's not going to be extreme cold like it was uh, earlier this week. On Monday it was like 30, 40 below zero up here in Manitoba. And today I think it's supposed to be uh, only in the single digits. You know, this morning it was only minus seven in Steinbach, so it's not going to be crazy cold when we come home. So that is nice, I like that. It was actually uh, warmer in International Falls yesterday uh, throughout the day than it was in Oklahoma City. So yeah, it's quite different sometimes, you know. Sometimes you can have it extremely cold up here in the north, nice and warm south. Next time you have it cold in the south and warm up here north. It's kind of weird, but that's just how it goes sometimes. But at least we ex escaped the extreme cold that we had earlier this week. We were down there south in Texas where it was nice. At least for us. For them oh, over yeah. there it probably yeah. was cold too. Yeah. But we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. It was a good change for us. It was. It definitely was. I guess this is the pilot car for that oversized unit there, so 
I guess he's going a little slower too, so that way the guy can catch up, right? Anyhow, let's continue on with our day. We still have 443 miles to go till we get to Winnipeg. We got a little bit of a drive to do. I just pulled over over here, guys. A little bit of a uh, rest area or sort of like a rest area anyway. It's like a pullover area anyway. So you don't even have a restroom or anything like that here. But we've been driving for a little while. Time to kick the tires a little bit do a walk around and uh, I went and walked over there to the edge a little bit there to the right and it's a beautiful uh, valley up there and walked over there and took me a few pictures so hopefully uh, hopefully they will turn out really good <clears throat> well only time will tell but uh, yeah now it's time to go again after making a quick pit stop yeah I think that's where I parked uh, the other day when I took a few pictures over this way I got those trees in the picture there and uh, I remember seeing a rabbit running over there once but yeah it's a beautiful area up here I love stopping here and just taking a few pictures any time of the year right especially now since it's all nicely covered with fresh snow beautifully nice and white ground right but yeah, anyways, let's hammer down to Fargo and go in there and have us some lunch. Looks like they have gotten quite a bit of snow up here in Fargo. Yeah, we were going to park over there. That's usually where we park as truck drivers, but now we got a bunch of four wheelers that parked in there. So we kind of had to go and park right here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I guess we got plenty of room to do it in, I guess. so. But anyways, we're going to go inside and do what? Eat. Eat? Where we're going to eat? Mexicano. Mexicano? Yeah, let's go in and it uh, looks like there's going to be quite a few people here today. Looks like they're having lunch break, so. Yes. So let's go in and see if we can get a spot and sit down and have a good bite to eat. Alrighty guys, it is time for lunch. Let's take a look on what we're having. Let me show you guys. Holy moly. Look at what the wife has got over here. What do you got there, sweetie? Much healthier than yours. Much healthier than mine? Ah, that's what it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and have us a good lunch. Our chicken house up here just before the border is open. So I guess we're gonna go in and see what they want from us today. Oh well. That's how it goes, but lunch Place was amazing. As you guys saw, I know RJ is screaming at me now, but that's okay. It looks like one guy is doing uh, something up there. In 600 feet, take I guess the he's uh, left on I-29 South. Checking on his pick him up truck or whatever, but anyways. We gotta go in here and see if they want anything from us. I sure hope not, but gotta run over to scale anyways. Scale the truck, I guess. Oh, the other guy is going beside the scale. I guess he must be empty. I know they do have a sign right here saying if you're empty, you can stay right, but anyways, let's lower the wind chill and see if they're gonna say anything. Usually they do because they don't two miles, turn left on Highway 5, have any actual US sign telling you what to do, right? Way station ahead. Yeah, I'm just staying quiet so that way if they do say something, they they can, right? Well, they're not screaming at us, so we're good to go. <laughs> That's how easy it is over here. In 800 feet, turn left on. I know, RJ, I know. <laughs> I know. We're only about 20 minutes at the most away from from the border. And then we'll be back in Canada. Yeah. The only thing is we got to gotta go to Winnipeg first and drop this trailer before we can uh, actually go home. So... Well, I guess that's okay too. It gives us a few extra miles. Although if we don't take a 
trailer from there going home then we won't be getting paid from Winnipeg going home but oh well anyways we got to pick up our son too yet from Winnipeg so hopefully we can just bobtail and go by the place and pick him up right all right you guys we have made it back home ladies and gentlemen it is actually the next morning yes indeed it is and uh, guess what the wife is doing she's getting breakfast ready getting coffee ready yeah getting coffee ready anyways so everybody's gonna ask you did you enjoy the trip very much yeah oh yeah so now you're gonna miss me on my next trip way too much yeah i know right it'll be hard i know it'll be hard it was a good trip oh, awesome it was a good trip it was awesome anyways we're gonna go ahead and get out of here guys appreciate you guys watching today's vlog so what do you say like the video share subscribe all right we'll see you guys tomorrow